I feel like I'm like dry. Like yeah, I'm real dry. Yeah, mama's dry. I look so cute. I've been trying to like do this like looking kind of cute on camera. Your mama's dry. I am dry. I am your, your mama. mama. I'm your mama and I'm dry. I need lip gloss. All right, so today I am going to be showing you guys what is on my Amazon wish list. I have been wanting to do like these kind of videos, like the what's you know on my wish list, what's on my iPhone, like that. So I'm going to be implementing those throughout obviously this year because I'm doing a lot of channel changes and I'm still doing beauty just as a reminder PSA don't freak out but I just want to start adding these and this is one that I've been like wanting to really do basically just kind of expose my Amazon wish list to you guys and see if you too want these things but we're gonna get right into it if you are new to my channel hi I'm Jamie V welcome we have a lot of fun on this channel it's a little crazy I'm kind of a spaz but I'm pretty normal I feel like in my own head I have so many lists and I just became affiliate of um, Amazon so that's really exciting too but this is like this is not a sponsored video this is not a promotion this is just literally a video that I want to do your list I have so many lists but I need to find my wish list I have a camping list my Amazon favorites um, for our new house I have a YouTube wish list for like things that I might need or whatever um, for YouTube that I've wanted like a new chair and whatnot so and then I have an Amazon uh, Alexa shopping list I don't know what the fuck that is I didn't make that so I'll pop them up here so you can see them because going like this is kind of like really difficult so the first thing I have on here is bad choices the have you ever game plus after dark expansion so the bad choices is kind of like the bad people and if you've never played that game basically what it is is it's a group game for like family fun friend fun any kind of like Saturday Sunday situation but what you do is you each get like an identity, you each get cards, and then you have to pick. So like one of the cards from Bad People was, uh, who do you think would sell out their friends for a million dollars, for example, okay? And then everyone would kind of like lift up and show who they think it is. And then the person who read the card would then, you know, show who they picked, and then it goes to that person, so on and so forth. We're not playing the game, but I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up of what it is it's a really good game it's really fun but if you're really sensitive it might not be something for you because it can kind of get a little bit offensive and people can get a little bit butt hurt so keep that in mind but it is a really fun game we absolutely love playing it my family got me into it they were playing it on Christmas when we were quarantined and so I really liked like what I was hearing and I thought it would be fun to do and so I bought it but this one is bad choices and it's basically have you ever so someone I would assume would read it and say have you ever read that so I want to buy that because I have a ton of weekend get-togethers with my family um I don't have a lot of friends so <laughs> just boring I guess I don't know but my family comes over very often so I like to have games for us to play so the next thing is if you had to so this one is like a if you had to blank or blank and then you pick one they're really fun um and it kind of just mixes it up and kind of like you get to know people like oh really you would have done that mm you know and then the next thing is who knows more kids or adults I love to involve my children in our game nights all of the time um currently only I have children my cousin Amber does have two children as well but she does not come over as much but the ones that constantly come over my brother and my sister-in-law my sister and my brother-in-law my cousin um they don't have children they just have fur babies so I like to involve my kids in it because they really love their aunts and uncles. So the next one is the Answers Acrylic Nail Clipper. So this is an adjustable nail clipper. Okay, let me tell you, I have like the original nail clipper where you just kind of like clip it to make them shorter instead of like having to file it all the way down. But the problem is you still have to file pretty decent because if you can't get them exactly even, it's too late. You either cut it too short, it's not, it's just, just an, this you turn it and it has like a measurement a stopper between your finger and the actual cut and so it's an even cut every time this thing is $10.99 and I'm buying it so I've been doing my nails lately I have said that before um, I've been doing my nails with the a press gel x nail system um, if you guys want me to do a video on that I can but I have been doing that and loving it and I just think that this would make it easier for me than having to file and whatnot. It's a weekly planner, undated. I 
love planners okay <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys one day I'm gonna do a video of like my planner bag because I don't have just one planner I have tons of planners and journals and affirmation and self-care self-love books all in like this tote bag that I work on all of the time like I absolutely I love writing I absolutely love writing but the thing is this doesn't have dates which is like something that I need I don't like normal planners when it's like you know January 1st 2nd 3rd because some days I don't do it I don't use it I don't plan I don't do any of that so it's like I'm wasting it at that point where when they're undated I can kind of do whatever I want you know what I mean like say I don't want to do it tomorrow then I don't have to and I just skip to Monday and no pages are wasted basically so the next thing I have on here is a HB tower two-step letter <laughs> Um, if you guys don't know, right behind you is a humongous pack system from Ikea that is a almost eight foot tall system and, uh, well, I'm 5'2", so <laughs> a lot of the times I find that it's hard for me to, uh, reach past eye level. Um, but no, seriously, I just need to get a step stool. I sent my husband to get a step stool when we were putting it together and I needed a step stool I could fold down and put in here because we have a very small space and he brings home a ladder that is taller than I am. This is not a, this is not a step stool. That is, a, that's a ladder to me. So I don't have that one up here because it's way too big, but I really just kind of, I need a step ladder, so. And then the next few things are gonna be coffee bar related because we're moving around a lot of stuff downstairs in our kitchen and living area. I want to make a coffee bar area, so these are gonna go with those, so just so you know. So this is the Grow Sun coffee bar shelf. So what this is, it's a wooden shelf, obviously, with three drawers, and then it hangs mugs, which I absolutely love because sometimes my husband will put the mugs, like, all the way at the top, and then I have to either climb on the counter or have one of my children climb on the counter because we're all short, and he's six foot two, and I don't understand why he puts everything that we need at the top. I don't get it. I don't get it. But I would love to just be able to hang our mugs there. And then the Your Text here, custom Ray Dunn inspired 11 ounce ceramic mugs. This is because if I'm going to hang mugs, I have a ton of mugs. Like I am a mug collector. I have a box of mugs in storage because they won't fit in my cabinet um, because I just love mugs. Okay. I have Disney mugs. I have Star Wars mugs. I have like unique mugs, mom mugs, Wonder Woman mugs, all kinds of mugs. Okay. I'm a mug collector and I don't want to have a bunch of crazy like I want it to be aesthetically pleasing when I look at it. So I want to get the Ray and Dunn custom ones and have like mom, dad, and then the kids on it for their cups too. They like tea, they like coffee. So, and yes, I let them drink coffee and no, I don't need any opinion on that. So the next thing I have is the modern coffee bar. It's a 47 inch coffee buffet storage cabinet. Um, they have like sideboard, like slide things. So I want to do that so I can put like the coffee and the tea on the top, obviously, and then like some pots and pans or something underneath. I just have so many like ideas. I just haven't bought any of it because I just don't know I don't know how I want it. Like you ever know like you want to do something but you're just like I know I, I want it, but I don't know how I want it. So I also have another tribe sign five tier kitchen baker's rack. Um, it's like a hutch basically, but with like no back. I don't really know that I want that because I kind of want to have like a big sign that covers my electric box. Like, you know where like your fuses are and stuff. The big silver box, like you flip switches or whatever the fuses. I don't freaking know. I'm not an electrician. It's an eyesore and I want to cover it. And this you can't really because it it goes up against the wall but it's hollow like there's no back so you'll still be able to see it i want to have a buffet like kind of station so i could put it like a canvas photo or something to cover it and just make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than it is and then the next thing i have is a official creelty ender 3d printer fully open um i can't tell you guys why i have that on my wish list is a secret. The next couple of things I have are Va Vadam, Vadam recovery tea sampler. I am a tea fanatic. This is all going to be tea stuff coming. Okay. Um, I love tea. I love tea in the morning. I love tea at night. I love tea in the middle of the day. I love tea when I'm sick. I love tea when I'm tired. I love tea when I can't sleep. I love tea. I love coffee, but tea is like, it's my jam. Um, I like to make my own teas. I like to my, make my own kind of like herbal teas. Steven calls them my potions, but they're teas. Like I like to make tea. Um, he does not care for them like I do. He likes, you know, sweet tea. That's about it. Um, so then there's another one, which is Twinnings Herbal Tea Bags, Good Earth Tea, 
and then big train spice chai tea latte mix um i got some teaspoons it is long handle tea coffee spoons and these are so pretty they're gold leaf they're so cute i just have to be extra with fucking everything i do i can't just have you know spoons it has to be teaspoons I'm weird in that way. Um, you know, I like my fancy um, shit. The next thing I have is a Boston Warehouse homemade with love cookbook ho or tablet holder. It goes on the counter. It literally looks like a cutting board. Um, it's just another thing I'm adding because we are, like I said, redecorating our kitchen. It's going to be like a rustic -y, rustic y modern, neutral vibe. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not really aesthetic. Okay. I'm doing my best here. Um, and then I have some sponge holders. I have the High Hinoin. I don't know. It's a three tier corner shelf um, made with bamboo and metal. Dude, I've wanted one of those for so long because with me being in a small area for the past four or five years, I have learned to stack up, store up, not out. So like with the pack system, um, it's absolutely amazing because although it is very large, tall it doesn't come out very far so i have so much in there that if i didn't have the system my entire room would just be like it would have no space so i just i am very big on organizing up and not out when you have a small space so this is like a tier you put it in the corner and it has like three tiers and you can do it like that and then stuff can go underneath it so big fan and then i want to get this kitchen rules wall decor rustic farmhouse um sign and it just says like some kitchen rules on it, it says if you empty it fill it if you cook it share it if you dirty it clean it if you open it close it if you spill it wipe it so I just thought that was really cute. And then there's another sign. I don't know. I'm kind of in between those two. Let me know which ones you guys think is better. This one says kitchen, the heart of the home. Um, both wooden, both very rustic looking. I just don't know which one I want. So I need your guys' help. And then next thing is just a door draft stopper because my, so we rent here. Um, and my landlord people, community, whatever they're called, um, they don't fix anything. Okay. I can put a ticket in. They're not coming for four months. So we're going to get a step. The door piece has been rotted for three years. And um, the old people who owned this complex never did anything about it. So we're just going to go and fix it ourselves. So I just want that door stopper. And then we have the Dexy kitchen rugs. These are the mat cushions. Um, like so you can stand on at the dishes and stuff like that. And then there is a home. My sweet home sign for keys and stuff like that. I just absolutely love that. And then this is a canvas picture I was telling you guys about. It's the, it's huge, but it covers like that metal box. And this says coffee, coffee, and then just has like some designs on it. And then we have some tea bag organizers. <laughs> yes. And then we have some snail silicone tea bag holders. Like you put on the side of your cup and you twist your little string around it. I thought <laughs> that was so cute. And then we have the tea bag squeezy spoons. So basically you put the tea bag in between it and you squeeze it instead of putting it like on the side or something. And then we have the homestead flavored honey sticks, which I've never tried, but I thought they were pretty cool looking. Um, it has like clove flavored and stuff like that. Just different kinds of honey to add to your tea. Um, I want an electric kettle, which I have on there. I have a coffee pot and my water gets relatively hot but like i just really want an electric kettle okay so moving on to different stuff um this is a bry belly six deck blackjack dealing shoe so basically it deals out cards we like on game nights we do i have like poker chips and cards and stuff and we play blackjack and we play you know texas hold'em and stuff like that so we do that very often it's something that we do and when we buy a house we're gonna have a whole setup like a poker table and everything because legitimately every time my family comes over on the weekends that's what we do we play poker we play game card games so a lot of this next stuff is going to be stuff that i want when we move yeah. I have a um, poker table on here, the Barrington Billards poker table. It has cup holders in it. It has felt on the top. And then I have the ATX custom sign poker hands ranking sign. So basically we're going to hang this in that same game area or here on the wall. It basically just tells anyone playing, you know, the rankings and, you know, flush, royal flush, four, four of a kind, that kind of situation. That way we don't all have to keep looking. The next thing I have is the butterfly, butterfly craze pillow bed floor lounger. So it's like a fold out bed but it's for kids and it's like a small it's not like a bed but it's like a it's like a sleeping bag and a and a fold-up mattress had a baby 
Um, the reason I have that one there is because I want to get it. My children on the weekends do not sleep in their bedrooms. Um, I know that sounds very weird, but they just don't. They stay up um, at night. They don't really have a bedtime on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, they usually go to bed relatively decent. At least the younger ones do. Nicholas can stay up till four in the morning and not even phase him. I don't like them sleeping on my furniture. So I want to get them these so they're not sleeping on my furniture. Sleeping on my furniture has always been something kind of like a pet peeve of mine. So I don't like animals on the furniture. I don't like people sleeping on the furniture. I just, I just don't. So I know it's very weird, but I just don't. I want to get those for them so they have them to be comfortable and uh, not sleep on my furniture. And then I have a Arctic Paul Pom Pom Beanie. It's like this color, but it has like literally two balls like a bear. It's so cute. Look at this hat. I want it so bad. And then I have under here the 10th anniversary ideas for like gifts. It has, you know, the two adults and then children and then it has the names. It's really cute. Our anniversary just passed and I'm just kind of making plans for things for our 10th anniversary because that's a big deal. So... No, I'm already getting, I'm ahead of the game. And then I have toilet tag, which I, <laughs> you're supposed to like do it as you're on the toilet and like the next person that comes in, like, I guess plays against you. I don't know. It just looked really cool. So I put it there. Uh, Law of Attraction, Life and Goal Planner. Yes. Mystery Asian Instant Ramen Variety. If you don't know, if you're new here, um, I might have to do like an updated get to know me since I do have so many new followers and subscribers but I am a ramen fanatic okay and we're not talking about just like instant ramen I'm talking about like legitimate ramen like I make legitimate ramen at, at home um I am part Vietnamese so my grandma has taught me a thing or two to do with ramen but it's just I there's something about the ramen noodle that I cannot get a part of like I don't I don't care for the instant packages like the cup noodles are fine but like the like the ones you get from the store they have like I use them I don't just eat them like I wouldn't cook those on the stove and then just eat them like I add a ton of stuff and like seasoning and stuff like that and egg and veggies and meats um and I make like amazing ramen dishes I love ramen noodles you have no idea so I put that on there because I thought that would be cool some sparring gear on there some jewelry I found honestly I'm gonna take like a screenshot so you can just see I'm not gonna go through each individual jewelry piece but basically when Jacqueline or Jacqueline Roxanne or whatever her jewelry line is launched um I really wanted a lot of the jewelry I'm not gonna lie to you because I do love um wearing like costume jewelry like these are not real but they look real right they look real I just don't wear jewelry enough to I feel like buy expensive jewelry unless it's like you know my wedding ring stuff like that um but for me it just it was way too expensive <laughs> for something like I got these I think I got these I want to say Walmart or Amazon and these are just like the twisted ones she has and these are just like the solid ones she has and I think I paid like all of three dollars a pair for these so and I heard not such great things about them um I don't know enough on the topic to speak about it but I heard not so so great things about it so what I did was I went on Amazon and I just found dupes for them and they're on my wish list to buy um, I have an anti-inflammatory diet book I want on there because I do suffer with some inflammatory issues I have a backpack this backpack I love it but I just have so many bags that I can't bring myself to like actually buy a bag. Do you know what I mean? I already have so many. And then the last few things I have here are just like random YouTube stuff or stuff I've put on there a long time ago. So like this chair, I absolutely love. This is a faux fur accent chair, um, height adjustable. I really, really want a chair like this for my YouTube. But one, I just don't have the room and two, they're so expensive. But a lot of the stuff on here is just really for my YouTube, like the RGB LED video lights I want, the newer um, collapsible softbox light covers. So a lot of that stuff is just kind of my YouTube stuff. And then I have some gel polishes from Beatles on there. And the last thing I have to show you is a Rode Video Mic Pro compact directional one camera, on camera microphone. Um, that's basically for my YouTube. I, sometimes like, I know I told you guys I have like a YouTube list specifically, but sometimes I'll just be like, add to list and it just goes to my wish list and I leave it there. Um, I probably could organize it a little bit better, but, um, I just don't like that's just, it's just in there. But I hope you guys liked it. That was the last item on my list. Um, I do actually have quite a few more on there, but that's kind of like, we'll be here all day. 
they have hundreds of items on there so I just picked some if you guys like this video I can do another one like what's on my Amazon favorites or what's in my YouTube list or something like that I will link certain things that I have either purchased from Amazon or plan to purchase and I'll put them down below my links down there are affiliated I make a small amount of money on those links um, whether it be my shop list links my Amazon links I do make a small commission off of those so I just want to be 100% honest with you guys but I will never promote or share with you or encourage you to buy something that I either haven't purchased myself or have no interest in purchasing myself I hope it was something different and something fun let me know down below what are the different types of videos you want to see I want to do a what's on my iPhone I want to do a what's in my I don't freaking know what's in my mind Ooh, I don't know but I am going to be doing a makeup video this week I promise promise stay tuned it is coming but I just have so many ideas I wrote them all down and I can't wait to share them with you guys so as always guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big like for me make sure you are subscribed before you leave I do three new videos every single week and as always I love you and I'll see you on the next one bye